healthcare is entering the digital age as providers increasingly use electronic health records. Ideally, these electronic systems are interoperable. I'm Dr. Renu Kaushal of Wall Cornell Medical College. In 2007, I began a project to learn more about how to use clinical data to electronically measure quality of care delivered in ambulatory settings that use both electronic health records and health information exchange. Meaningful use did not exist when we um, wrote this grant. And what we were hoping to do in some limited way with our research study was to be thoughtful about what our current thinking is regarding the capabilities of electronic systems and the measurement of quality from those systems. We had four specific goals. The first was to develop a set of quality measures. The second was to have an expert panel validate those quality measures. The third was to test the reliability of those measures in real life. And the fourth was to actually use those measures to understand quality over time. My name is Lisa Kern. I'm a physician and health services researcher. The first phase, which took about a year, was uh, conducting a literature review and developing a preliminary set of quality measures. The literature review was designed to capture all existing quality measures, especially for ambulatory care, that have already been endorsed by national quality organizations, professional organizations, and other research institutes. We then developed a conceptual model which is a framework for thinking about how EHRs with health information exchange might impact medical decision making. The four dimensions that we focused on uh, were first the feasibility of delivering the relevant clinical information to the physician. The second was the clinical importance of that measure. The third was the potential for delivery of that information to change medical decision making. And the fourth was um, the likely ease with which information could be reported out. And we initially came up with about a thousand quality metrics. We winnowed that down to about 500 that were relevant for the ambulatory setting. We then engaged in a process of rating those measures. We were able to further narrow them down to 60 measures, which we presented to an expert panel. We were very fortunate that Dr. David Blumenthal moderated our panel. And the panel consisted of experts in health information technology, health information exchange, and quality measurement. The panelists were assembled and reviewed the methods that we had applied to the project and then engaged with us in a second round of quantitative rating of those metrics, further narrowing down the list to the final 18 measures. That completed the first two aims of the grant. Then we had to move on to aim three, which was testing the reliability of the reporting of these measures. And that turned out to be no easy task. We partnered with the Institute for Family Health to help um, us test the reliability of electronic reporting of these measures. My name is uh, Dr. Neil Kalman, and I am president and CEO of the Institute for Family Health. The Institute's been uh, completely engaged uh, with electronic health records since 2002, when we made a decision that uh, it was time to bring state-of-the-art information technology to our patients. The Institute has a decades-long history of being intimately involved with using data to look at our quality and to um, engage in, in a whole variety of initiatives to improve the quality of care we give to our patients. We were really pleased to find that performance improved over time on these quality measures. I think that this is a, a consequence of at least two things. The first is the more you use these tools, the better you are at using these tools. And the second is, is that these tools improve over time. The type of decision support that's used and introduced improves over time. As physicians, we strive to provide the highest possible quality of care for our patients. And measuring quality and using measurement to improve what we do 
is, is an important part of practicing medicine. I think the, the most important finding from this work is how challenging it is to accurately report quality measures from EHRs. I think electronic health records as a tool for providers in healthcare is probably the most important technology that's been developed in decades for improving the healthcare outcomes of our patients. Stage one meaningful use criteria include 15 of the 18 metrics that, that we identified in this study. That was an important source, I think, of validation of the work that happened in this study. Electronic health records and health information exchange hold great promise to improve the way in which healthcare is delivered. Our research team is very, very interested in continuing efforts in this area. I think that it's really important that we continue to look at the accuracy of quality measures that come out of electronic health record systems and that we engage in dialogue with researchers, with policy people, with clinicians to try to refine that information.